Let's see what support and resistance zones are and how they can help us. Support and resistance zones part 1. There are a few key factors that should be considered when looking for support and resistance zones. Support and resistance zones are zones in the chart which price has reacted to in the past. When price returns to these zones, it creates the likelihood of a possible trading opportunity. These zones have 6 characteristics and the more of these characteristics a zone has, the more valid it becomes. 1. These zones have formed in the highest and lowest points in price. To elaborate, when we are in an uptrend, the price's contact with the resistance zone has to be in the highest point on the chart and conversely, in a downtrend, the price's contact with the support zone has to be in the lowest price point on that specific time frame. 2. If the number of times the price has made contact and reacted to these support or resistance zones is more than one, that would indicate that traders have bought or sold in these zones in a larger span of time. 3. These zones have to stand out and be easily recognizable. For example, on BTC USDT, we can easily spot zones where price has moved up multiple times and has been rejected and reversed after reaching the resistance zones, and this makes the zone obvious and easy to recognize. And conversely, price has dropped and after reaching the support zone, it has been reversed multiple times and this gives us an obvious and easy to spot support zone. The more recognizable these zones are, more traders would see them, which in turn would mean that more traders would be buying or selling in these zones. Now head on over to different charts and try to spot as many of these support and resistance zones as you can, or you can simply head to Tradesk and with a click of a button, Tradesk can show you countless support and resistance zones live on the market.